Okay, it's been a long time coming. Um, sorry, I don't know how to break this to you, but uh, just wanted to let you know. It's not a you thing, it's, it's a me thing. I've gotten older and with age comes knowledge. And um, I know what I want and I know what I need. And um, not to say that you know, you're know you not gonna be a part of my life anymore, but um, I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, and um, you may be wondering what that thing is. Well, boom! It's a new Lumix GH6 from Panasonic. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, discuss why exactly I'm gonna be making the jump from uh, you know Canon to Panasonic. So, also get you a nice little unboxing of this this bad boy right here. This is my. Whew, Oh, my heart is just a flutter right now um, with this new toy that I have. So, uh, I love my Canon EOS R6. I've been shooting it for two years now since it came out in 2020. And uh, yeah, you know, it's been great for photos. I knock it out the park all the time. Okay, I've got the instruction book right here. Um, but the limitations now, I'm doing a lot of video these days. And um, it's not really hitting all the main points that I need. First of all, 4K. All right, let's go ahead and talk about 4K. Um, it overheats. There's there's no getting around that. The camera overheats if I record directly into the uh, camera itself. All right. Speaking of which, if you look at that, <laughs> the top right of my monitor right now, the R6 is overheating. This, it wasn't even shooting in 4K, man. I'm trying to take a photo here of a th for the thumbnail for this video, and it's it's freaking overheating. What is what the heck, man? So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I love you, but uh, this is a big no-no, man. I can't, I can't, I can't have this. I can't have this, dude. I can't have it. So that's kind of my first issue. Um, so I drop it down to 1080p, um, and now I'm also shooting with a Atomist Ninja 5. So that kind of alleviates it a little bit more. But regardless, the 4K uh, overheating is kind of a thing. The other big issue with, uh, with shooting videos with my R6 is uh, timeout. Uh, I don't know, Canon, like if you guys can kind of just get rid of the, the feature if you have like an HDMI plugged in to like you know an external monitor or something going out uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to actually like you know, hit a button or something on the camera to wake it up or keep it awake because there is a function where you can actually turn off the uh, auto shut off on you know the R6 but um, you know the, the thing that kind of pees me is that when the display turns off the actual um, you know, everything shuts down and it's just it's not very productive for my workflow so you know especially if I'm doing like long-form interviews this and that um, granted you know I shoot in short bursts as a videographer I typically don't do long-form stuff unless it's you know for for the work but uh, you know it's 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 kind of those nuances that kind of get me and um, when I was looking into a new camera a lot of people have been discussing about Panasonic and how amazing the GH5 is. Um, my good buddy and co-worker Chris Cranock actually did a film, a short film, Bizarro e Fantastico. If you guys want to check that out, be sure to check that one out. All on the GH5. Um, high dynamic range, it's just like, it's an amazing camera. So uh, I bided my time and I waited, 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 waited for the release of the Successor to the GH5, not the GH5 Mark II. Um, mind you, the GH5 Mark II is a great camera still in and of itself. Ooh, nice little strap here. But, um, you know, I might as well wait for the latest and greatest system. Uh, I'm doing a lot, again, I'm doing a lot more videography here in Las Vegas, so, um, you know, I want to be able to compete with a lot of other people that are in the industry right now. So here we go, the Panasonic GH6. So. You got all the goodies, you got cables, you got uh, USB, you got the power uh, system, bada bing bada boom. Okay, so another cool thing about the Panasonic system that I've learned is that, you know, uh, from the get-go, you can actually even plug it in via USB-C on the side to continuously power the system. So, if I have, say for example, a battery bank hooked up, sorry, <laughs> um, if I have a battery bank hooked up, 
uh, to the camera, it'll continuously power that system so I can keep recording pretty much, which is really what I need as well too. So uh, I'm gonna be getting into a lot more interview stuff. Um, you know, I just I just need a reliable system. So the other cool thing about the Panasonic GH6 that I like, of course, no uh, record limits. That's the big one, right? It has every codec under the sun. Um, I'm gonna be doing a comprehensive video uh, with it in terms of shooting uh, the different settings, this and that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But I mean, look at this guy. You see these vents? In, in one way, out the other ear, just like how I listen to people sometimes. <laughs> but you know, it's got a ventilation system. That's crazy, that's, that's awesome. So you know, no more having to worry about, uh, you know, Stuff overheating and like messing up shoots, which is great. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of really great features out the gate with this camera system, um, you know, and there's gonna be more stuff later on down the road. Uh, another cool thing that I'm really excited for is the fact that you can actually plug in a solid state drive. It's not out yet, um, but it is anticipated with a firmware update. Uh, it might be out now if you're watching this in the future. Cool. I'll probably, I'm probably doing some crazy stuff with it. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm a, such a big fan of this system and like being able to shoot a, a bunch of different codecs with this 4K, 422, uh, you know, 10 bit. I mean, <laughs> all the colors, man, all the colors. That's the other thing that kind of peeves me with um, my Canon camera. You know, you kind of flip through the files and notice that there's only like, you know, not a whole lot of codec options. Um, I love the log settings from Canon and the flat color profile, but Panasonic just knocks it out of the water in terms of just like different settings. It's just such a versatile system, you know? Um, yeah. So I bought the kit, uh, it comes with the, let's see here. The 12 to 60, it's a variable f-stop. So it's a 2.8 and then it jumps up to an F4, which isn't bad. Um, it's it's going to be a good starting lens for me. I'm hoping to possibly get the uh, the 10 to 25 and the 25 to 50. Uh, that's equivalent to a 20 millimeter to a 50. And mind you, those those two lenses are a 1.7 all the way through. So in terms of just video and stuff like that, uh, it's going to be a great system. Um, and again, factor that in with the nice stabilization. I'm going to definitely put this camera through its paces um, you know running gun type stuff videography type deals uh, and really put it through its paces not just that but also cinema stuff um, yeah so there she is I am beyond stoked I hope I don't <laughs> break the camera check this out boom you can actually it tilts and swivels as well too which is really cool so what that does basically uh, if you know it's really neat that they did that because if you could, if you do this, you can actually move your, move stuff out of the way, you know. So it actually doesn't like hit anything specifically, like any HDMI cables. You can just pop it out and not worry about that. So uh, variable angle display, which is great. Um, and I got to test it out as well too. But you can actually plug this into your computer um, and also do a bunch of cool stuff. So we'll be using this mode predominantly for streaming. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. There's just so many like features. This is, ah, uh, it's like Pandora's box is finally open and I just, uh, this is so much stuff I'm gonna be doing with this camera system. So uh, I'm really excited, uh, really stoked, really nervous. This is like, you know, big investments, right? Um, but I'm definitely ready to rock though, ready to kick some ass and uh, get some cool footage uh, with this system. So definitely keep it locked. Uh, I will be posting another video and putting the camera through its paces. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys uh, soon. So, peace.